Let's join Michelle Coates on the business beat. Michelle was at the recent expansion celebration of Frontier Communications. I'm Michelle Coates with The Business Beat. Today we're at Frontier Communications in its newly expanded facility. Frontier Communications, one of the largest private sector employers in West Volusia, recently completed a $2 million expansion. The Fortune 500 communications company added more than 17,000 square feet of space and nearly 200 new jobs. Maggie Wilderotter, chairman and CEO of Stanford, Connecticut-based Frontier, addressed those who attended the recent ribbon cutting. We have always had great support from the state, county, and local government here in Florida. And the Volusia County Council was terrific to work with. And we've worked together very well for seven years now. And we look forward to doing so for years to come. Frontier Communications, a provider of cell phone service and other communication services, mostly to rural communities throughout the country, has added nearly 200 workers in the past year. The 58,000 square foot complex will house multiple customer call centers as well as technical support facilities. The company's selection of DeLand as one of the consolidation sites for its call center operations nationally prompted the need to increase the size of its complex. And the future is bright for the company's local venue. Our DeLand team members handled close to 2 million calls last year. Calls about products, about services, about billing, and more from all over the country. Our people are great at what they do. You are terrific at setting the pace for all of our contact centers nationwide. Frontier had 350 workers in DeLand when it first opened its facility in 2006. The company has pledged to employ at least 550 workers at its DeLand complex. Employees who work there come from throughout the Volusia Flagler area as well as Lake and Seminole counties. We spoke to Kelly Morgan, Frontier Communications Vice President and General Manager of the DeLand Center. We're primarily a contact center, so we do things like inbound sales, we do marketing, uh, we have technical support, we do offline provisioning, uh, we do billing, we have um, analytics, we have revenue assurance, we have a number of uh, frontline customer facing jobs, but we also have professional jobs that we've been bringing down over the last couple of years. The worker amenities included in the expansion are a testament to the company's investment in its workforce. Amenities range from a custom graffitied outdoor basketball court to a meditation room, a lactation room for nursing mothers, a fitness gym, and an employee lounge that includes a video game center and pool table. What's unique about Frontier is we're very uh, employee centric, so we try to put the employee first. I and mean, we have a fundamental belief if we take care of our, cust our uh, employees, they'll take care of the customer. So we, um, as part of that, we, we bring in a diverse group of individuals. The company is looking to hire another 25 workers to fill tech support and call center positions. Frontier Communications, based in Stamford, Connecticut, offers broadband, voice, carrier, and internet services, among others, and generates annual revenues of more than $5 billion. Nationally, the company employs 14,700 people and operates in 27 states. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Michelle Coates with The Business Beat here at Frontier Communications.